Ancient DNA is really cool and it's allowed us to learn more about things we already know and have a good idea of what their morphology is. But one of the more interesting um, applications of ancient DNA is it is giving us insight to organisms where we don't know much else. Enter the Denisovans. The Neanderthal genome certainly made a splash in 2010, but in 2012, there was a weird discovery. So someone found at Denisova Cave in Siberia, there were a couple different fossils. There was a tiny distal phalanx on the little tip of her pinky hair and a tooth. The tooth looked kind of weird. It didn't look, it's obviously hominin, but it didn't look quite Neanderthal. Um, it's the material was dated to 40,000 years ago, so it's fairly recent. That's in the, um, you know, near other Neanderthal sites at about the same time they live. Um, but with this here, there's just not much to go on, and especially since the tooth looked a little bit weird. So considering we didn't have much material to work on in the first place, well, we might as well sequence their DNA. Um, so that distal phalanx, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. They ground it. it all up to get this data. So here are some two of the important publications. Um, we had the initial discovery and sequencing of their mitochondrial genome, and later we actually got a very high coverage genome. This was some really nice work they did here. Um, so let's look at what we found. Um, so here we're looking at the mitochondrial genome, and here's Neanderthals, here's modern humans, and look! The Denisovans are sister to Neanderthals, so they are very similar. Um, of course, uh, this was a high profile discovery. It was talked about in nature and science. It was everywhere in the news. Um, and some reporter asked these the discoverers like, okay, so can you give us an idea of what they look like? So this is what they get because we have a tooth and a finger bone. So really we, we don't know now. Um, certainly there's some genes we can sequence look at in their um, genome and get an idea of like what we think their skin and hair color might have been. Um, but there's a lot in between a genome and what we actually look like. So we want to make sure to be pretty conservative when we're making any statements like that. But when we looked at their um, nuclear genome, we had some fun things we found. First, Denisovans actually share some genetic material with modern day Melanesians, so people who live in Melanesia. That's kind of weird, especially like oh, Siberia. Siberia is pretty far north. Melanesia is uh, south and also on the islands. Um, so we think there is a little bit of interbreeding between um, Denisovan populations and modern day Melanesians. Um, so you can look on the map here. Again, Melanesia is a little bit further south. So we're assuming that the Denisovan range probably also extended a little bit further south. Um, it, it's a little bit unlikely. Ancestors of modern day Melanesians went north and then back, on, back down. Um, because now we are finding yet another example of interbreeding of this uh, archaic lineage with modern humans, um, it's causing us to rethink some of our theories about um, uh, replacement of modern humans. And now we have things called like leaky replacement because we're having some, these interbreeding events between modern humans and these um, more uh, archaic lineages. Um, you might remember we talked a little bit about this when we were talking about adaptations of modern humans, um, but some of the altitude Tibetan adaptations in modern day Tibetans could actually be from Denisovans. So what might have happened is Denisovans were living in the area. A modern Homo sapiens population came in. They got this um, gene EPAS1 through integration um, that led to the Sherpa ancestors. And then the Han Chinese came in and um, the genes EPAS1 and Eglin1 are um, were uh, passed to modern day Tibetans. Um, remember, um, humans are also moving around all over the world. So um, modern populations are made up of lots of different, slightly older populations. So who were the Denisovans and what do we know about them? Mm -hmm. 